Before we start, I'd like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Visionary. My 600 pound life has shown stories of both failures and success. People heavier than 600 pounds enter in the hopes of getting themselves a better chance at life. When you weigh over 600 pounds and could avoid lethal diseases with the health of an expert, you should follow the expert instead of being angry with them. However, some of the following guests in the show managed to fail Dr. Now's plan. Here are some of those patients who were out of control Control despite the fact that they were in the wrong. We need you to help us. We don't need you to degrade us, okay? It's not my we need you to help that us. Is Schnee. One that tops this list is none other than Schnee. She was one of such participants on the show that exacerbated her doctors to an extent that they wanted to pull her out of her procedures. Being so irregular with her efforts, Schnee never followed her workout patterns and given instructions along with totally shattering her diet plan. She was provided with an inflexible low-calorie diet plan to help her pass the gastric bypass test, but all she did was betray everything. Upon an investigation, she denied everything she did and in turn put it on the experts. Everybody was amused by her behavior as she got furious with the doctors. And with such a situation, people around the patient only feel demotivated to continue to help. Octavia. The excursion to fight weight accompanies with a great deal of nerve and desires control, and not every person has been fruitful with their journey. Octavia is likewise one such member of the show that was locked in with Dr. Now to continue. Dr. Now kept her in the emergency clinic to assist her with lessening more than 650 pounds of weight to help her walk on her own. Luckily, she had the option to decrease 108 pounds and get herself released from the medical clinic, which made her super angry as the goal seemed impossible to her. The eating routine and exercise plan had to remain in continuation, and there was no pulling off until the job was done. Be that as it may, she acted in any case and requested popcorn chicken and deliberately missed meetings with Dr. Now. What a waste. Megan. Dr. Now's patient Megan was unfortunate to achieve her weight loss goal not one but two times. Dr. Now's appointments with Megan showed a consistent change in her body weight, even though it was moderate. For this, Dr. Now wanted Megan to move to Houston to be able to monitor her closely. While being at it, Megan visited her dad and both enjoyed a cheat day at his place. When the doctor figured this out, he was frustrated, which made Megan cross at him, which should be totally the opposite way. They ordered pizza and spent time together bonding. Now it was the third time Megan had crashed her weight loss goal which had her doctor extremely furious. Lisa. Lisa is one of the contenders who were inadequate with regard to her weight loss duty from the very beginning, yet the specialists were ready for her helping her recover her body into shape. Despite the efforts by the experts, she was discovered sneaking in low quality nourishment. One embarrassing moment was when the specialist was analyzing her skin and discovered something stunning. Would you accept that they found an unfilled sack of chips covered in her fat layer? Lisa attempted to accuse her better half that this pack is his, yet everybody knows the reality that who it really had a place with. With. Not just this, Lisa went out of control when a nutritionist visited her house during a surprise visit. She found out Lisa wasn't following the doctor's orders. Sarah. People cheat on their diets the most while they're on the road. This is also what happened to Sarah, who admitted having eaten food that was not prescribed in her plan while they were journeying to Houston. She did this again and was caught by her mother sneaking in junk food from a hotel. When the experts questioned her about this, she in turn started to argue with them and picked a fight. What a shame. I'm eating mostly lean meats and vegetables. James. The person who has picked up the most arguments with the doctors is none other than James. James can arguably be said to be the person to experience the hardest times on the show. Despite countless efforts by health professionals, team crew, and his doctors, he, along with his wife, continued to feed themselves with junk food. His wife, who sneaked in unhealthy food to the hospital so much that the hospital staff had to keep a lookout, which resulted in a quarrel between the staff and the couple. That is total idiocy. The patient was so stubborn that even realizing the fact of being super fly overweight, the patient continued to eat whatever he liked and whenever he liked. His journey was complete blowout because James was not able to lose any weight, not even a single pound. You do your part and he does his part or I'm true with you. Sean. Ever seen someone weighing 900 pounds? Sean was one such participant on the show who weighed this much when he first appeared. He gained an insane amount at a time too, a 1,000 pounds. He wanted to be treated by Dr. Now, but he failed to comply with his instructions and plans, which is why he was given up on Dr. Now. Soon, this resulted in Dr. Now thrashing the most rebellious candidate out of the show. How uncontrollable. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are currently on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.